Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to be back in Scotland. I was two days in Edinburgh last week. <laughs> But I'm delighted to be with you. So it says here. <laughs> At my age, I'm delighted to be anywhere, I can tell you. See, last week I was speaking at the Plain Speech in Donna's Truth Society in Edinburgh, of all places. And to me, as a Glaswegian, Plain Speech and Honest Truth in Edinburgh sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> but anyway, the chairman introduced me as a boring old fart <laughs> from Glasgow. <laughs> well, I objected because I stay in all guy. <laughs> we had a man rushing into a bank in Glasgow, mask on, handgun. And as he got to the tellers, the mask slipped. He pushed it back up instantly and said to the first teller, Did you see my face? Said the teller, Oh, boom, shot him, dead. The next teller, Did you see my face? Oh, boom, shot him. Customer, Did you see my face? No, 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 I didn't. But my wife did. <laughs> But I just thought, gentlemen, if I may, I just thought I'd give you two very quick tips about marriage. Tips which I hope will strengthen that bond of holy matrimony which links you with your chosen one. And the first is go out for a meal because it's wonderful what that simple exercise will do. A good restaurant, a nice bottle of wine, perhaps some music, dim lighting, you know, the romantic setting, you can imagine. Elizabeth and I used to go for that meal every week that God sent. She'd go on a Tuesday and I'd go on a Thursday. <laughs> Do you mind going along the Trongate in Glasgow and he's hurtling along? And his friend came along and saw he'd only one shoe and asked, Did you lose a shoe? And the wee guy said, No, I found one. <laughs> but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for having invited me over here. I was delighted to get your invitation. I had another invitation for today. Uh, that was lunch with the Scottish Schizophrenic Society. And I was in two minds whether to go. <laughs> but you know, I'm waiting on an invite coming to me from Glasgow Paranoics. Because one night when I came home, my lovely wife was alive and she was waiting up for me and she said, Jim Brown phoned you from Glasgow Paranoics and he wants to know if you'll come and speak at the Burn Supper next year. He's going to phone you back. And just at that, the phone rang and I picked it up. And the voice said, hello, Mr Murray, it's Jim Brown here from Glasgow Paranoics. And I said, that's funny, Mr Brown, my wife and I were just talking about you. <laughs> And he hung up. 